Hi guys, good morning. Uh, before starting, just a quick request. If you guys like the videos which I have been posting or if you guys after watching the video like it, then please do the like button. It helps me motivate a lot, a lot. If you don't, then you can also press the dis like button. It's up to you guys. But yeah, please take action. It helps motivates a lot. But yeah, let's quickly move to the question. It says that we need our, we need to convert sorted list to a binary search tree. Cool, we'll see everything. What's a sorted list, what a BST and everything. Firstly, it says that we are given the head, which means the head of the linked list of a single linked list with the elements are sorted in ascending order. Elements are sorted in the ascending order, which means that every element it goes on keep increasing. Cool, no worries. And we want to convert it into a height balanced binary search tree. What is a binary search tree? It's a tree in which left node has smaller value than the root node. Right nodes have the bigger value than the root node. And height balanced, which it means is that if there are n nodes, so basically the height or the level, although they both are different, but still in same sense, they are used. So basically height or level should be max of log n or basically the seal of log n. You can also say that. But the height should be balanced, which means that if the tree becomes something like this, so you have to make it something like this, which means that it should be balanced, right? It should not go way beyond in one side and not in the other side, right? Cool. No worries. Now we got to know, okay, what's the height balanced? What is a BST and all that stuff? Now let's see the quickly example what it says. So basically we are given the link list, which means that we will be pointing to this head pointer of this link list. And we want to, what we need to return is the head pointer of this tree. Now you can easily see that. Okay. If my link list is minus 10, three, minus three, zero, five, and six, nine, which is sorted minus 10, minus three, zero, five, and nine. So basically if we move on to this and we want to make this BST, we need to have it starting from zero. Why? because we need to have it balanced, right? So we will start from zero, which means I take this. Now the left part will come in the left side and the right part will come in the right side. So now as zero is the root, so you can see here, zero, we write here and here it is the left and then here it is the right. Here it is the left, here it is the right of my three. And after that, here is the left and here is the right of my nine. So it is how the tree is formed. So basically we have this root node. After that, we write the left of that root node and then the right of that root node. After that, we put, after that, we use this root node and then we write the left of this root node and right of this root node. After that, we use this root node. Then we write the left of this root node and then the right of this root node. It is how the tree is written. Cool. No worries. So now what we have to do is that we have to return this particular tree to our answer which means the root of that node and this special case maybe you have to put in mind that if it is null then we have to return null because we can't make a tree from it if the root is null so we can just simply return a null now one thing we saw that we have to start the link list from the head but 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 the root node will be the mid of that link list which is so the head of the root node, basically the head of the tree or the root node of the tree will be the mid of the link list, right? We saw right here, right? Because it needs to be balanced. So the root node of the tree will always be the mid of the link list. Okay. We got to know one thing. Okay. The root node, it needs to be the mid of this link list. So we need to find the mid of the link list now. So now the question became, okay, find the mid of the link list. So to find the mid of the link list, we have two options. One very standard option, you just iterate on this whole link list, find the length of this link list, and then make the length by two, and then again iterate on this link list up till the n by two length, and then find the root element. Okay, we are iterating two times on this link list. Complexity will be two into n, although it's n, but still it sounds more right. There is a better option right here. We use a slow in the fast pointer. Slow pointer moves one step at a time and fast pointer moves twice as fast as a slow pointer. What will happen is when the fast would have reached the end, 
स्लो वुड बी एट द मिड बिकॉज दे बोथ आर मूविंग नॉट इन द सेम स्पीड बट द फास्ट इज मूविंग ट्वाइस एज फास्ट एज स्लो सो बेसिकली स्लो मूव हेयर फास्ट मूव हेयर स्लो मूव हेयर फास्ट मूव हेयर सो बेसिकली एज द फास्ट वुड हैव रीच एंड माई स्लो वुड हैव बीन एट द मिड बिकॉज द स्पीड इज ट्वाइस सो इट इंडिकेट्स दैट वी कैन जस्ट हैव वन इंटरेशन हैव स्लो एंड फास्ट पॉइंटर्स and i can just have one iteration and my slow would land at the mid index itself and i don't need to do multiple iterations and it's just a o of n by 2 because i'm just iterating on the half of the list kind of right still it's o of n but still we have reduced one iteration all together so it's a better method we will use this method although the standard question to find the mid of the linked list it's a standard question but yeah we thought okay what we need in this question it is to find the mid of the linked list which is actually the root node of the tree cool now we have one thing okay we can find the middle of the linked list let's see firstly how we'll find it suppose my slow and the fast is pointing at one then my fast slow moves one step and my fast moves two steps so slow will be here and fast will be here now slow moves one step fast moves two steps slow will be here fast will be here slow moves one step fast moves two step slow is here fast is there now you can say okay aryan let's move slow but you can easily see that fast next is a null so it means that it cannot move because null next will never happen so ultimately it cannot move here so they both have have to have to stop here it may have happened that maybe fast would have landed at the end it's for sure hack can happen but it's never the case that okay anything can go beyond this so now our slow has landed at the location which is actually the mid and we said that the mid will be the root node so every time i can pretty surely say that okay i can find the mid of the linked list which means that i can find the root of any portion of the linked list cool so basically with this slow i have pointed to the lint uh, mid and and it's the most optimal way now now we are we have reached our slow cool which is actually the root now okay you find the root how about the left part and the right part it's pretty simple right the left part it itself is the left subtree and the right part it itself is the right subtree so just if you are standing at the slow right which is actually the root node now you have to move your logic to the left part and to the right part so for that you need to have some other pointers also so let's take very standard start and end pointers which actually points to the start and end of the array why it is needed because you find slow and fast cool no worries but now you have to shift to the left subtree and the right subtree for shifting to the left subtree let's say you want to shift to the left subtree you can just have the particular portion right here for that you know the slow cool but you never knew the start right so just mark anything as a start for short sure. it's easy for you guys now you can know this pointer by slow of let's say next right but how about you need to make sure that, okay you you have something in the end so just have let's say it's null so just have the this thing okay my left subtree is from start to slow and my right subtree is from slow next which means after just after slow up till my end cool with this help i can just iterate on my left and right subtree recursively how let's see firstly we saw what is root cool no worries we saw what was slow and it was root we got the root we are happy now we need to find actually we need to attach this particular element to for this we need to find the left subtree cool recursively we will find or the left subtree so basically our slow will be pointing here cool now it is the new list which means the start and end will be like here again the slow and fast will move slow and fast will move again and ultimately slow will point here and fast will point here right let's let's change the color yeah uh, let's take it white so basically now ultimately my slow and fast is have rested for the left subtree where so have rested it is the root so the 2 will be the root we can see easily here 2 is the root now again for this 2 i need to find the left and the right subtree 
let's take this as a left subtree and right subtree start and end will for sure be the start and end of this particular list cool no worries now as it is the root it is a left subtree i just again made it okay let's have start and end i moved my slow and fast and as fast next to next is null for sure i cannot move so it is the root now if it is the root what will happen is that i just pointed as a root it is you can see it is the root and if again i have to go then i can easily say okay see i just have it as a left subtree and right subtree but if it is one then start and end points here so i can just return a null because you can easily see that below this is actually a null so you can easily see that how i did and what i did right now if i go back what would happen was if it was a left subtree if it if it was the left subtree then i just iterated on the left part which means that i have this two then i just found one what about the other part it is with this part so it is the right subtree of two which is you can find with the help of three and four so it is just the start it is the end it start and uh, slow and fast pointer slow and fast pointer stands here so it is the root so basically and same i can do for the other half also it is the right half so it, it will just break down to slow and fast slow slow will point to the root ultimately again in the next step i'll just have it break down to start to slow and slow plus one which is slow next to end it is this left part of this particular root node and it is the right part of this root node with this help you can easily see that what i did i basically had a slow in the fast pointer i just wherever slow lands it's a root my root left will point to whatsoever my left subtree will bring me the answer and my root right will point to whatsoever my right subtree will bring me the answer and my right left subtree will recursively make its own tree and my right subtree will recursively make its own tree which means that if i have this list and whatsoever root i have find i just attach my left subtree root node with it and right subtree root node with it with it ultimately my left subtree will itself make its own tree by its own self my right subtree will itself make its own tree by its own self and that's what i wanted my work is done by recursion cool no worries you can easily see by this r actually tree is made because here i will just attach my root node with the result whatsoever the left part will return and it's actually returning this particular root node itself which is two here i will attach my root node with the result of six which is just the right subtree root node and with this help and they both my two will have a left part as one right part as three which is actually a tree in itself because one's left part is null one's right part is null three's left part is null three's right part is null so basically everything is being made recur by recursion we just choose root node and we just choose okay left part make it by recursion right part make it by recursion and it's the same thing what's happening so it is the main function here firstly base case as you can easily see that it was a base case in our problem i just have this base case now i just had the start and end because ultimately at every step i just need to know start and end right with this help i can actually find slow and fast so i just pointed my start and my and end then what will happen is at every point i just initialized my start and end and also a base condition that okay if my start is equal to end so i need to return null why it is because here you can easily see start and end was equal sorry if it would have gone here here at this base case where one was remaining so start and end were equal which means it is returning null which means that if one is here so it will return these two which is null because it's the leaf node right so it is the base case now i initialize my start and end pointer i just moved my fast pointer until it is not equal to end right so that my slow would have reached the mid with this help my slow and fast have reached to the correct location which is slow pointing at the mid and that that's what i wanted because slow at mid is nothing but my root head 
root or head anything you can say so slow is actually at my mid location of the linked list which is actually what the head of the linked list head of the tree so with this i got the head of the tree now it's just a part of recursion that okay i'll just call the left part which is start to slow and the right part which is slow next to end and my recursion will take care of everything of just finding and attaching the root node with the left roots left and it is roots right and ultimately i need to return the head because i need to return the root node of this link list or of this tree i hope that you guys liked and enjoyed the proper intuition how we reached how we find why we thought of finding the mid and how we thought of finding the mid because of that slow and fast it's never that okay we need we had two options we can choose any any two options we choose the optimal options so ultimately the complexity of this problem is o of n log n because for every log n levels as i said as it's a high balance binary search tree so the number of levels will be log n but at every lo lo like log n levels to find the mid i am iterating on this whole list kind of you can say n by 2 but still it's it's o of n log n so basically and for finding that okay what's the mid what's the root i'm just iterating on this whole list but i'm doing the same process for every log n levels thus you can easily see that this complexity is n log n and space extra space although to make the tree I just use a tree node every time I made it. As you can easily see, I made a new node, but it's not the extra space. Extra space we have used is zero. So yeah, that's the problem which we had. I hope that you guys liked it. If you guys didn't do the like button, it helps me a lot. But see you in the next video. Goodbye. Take care. Bye. I wrapped it. I don't know.